I don't know about you, but I hated math in school. I was so relieved when I went to do university and I didn't have to do it anymore. However, with me in the studio are two people who come into their element where math is concerned. They competed against 85,000 other students around the continent and came second and third. I don't know about you, but I already have a complex. Guys, I'd like to introduce you to Wise and Chidera, two incredible students of Green Spring School who are going to tell us about their journey to mathematical stardom. So, welcome to the show, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, let me start with you, Wise. South African Mathematics Olympiad, what on earth made you decide that this was something you wanted to do? So, I really liked math ever okay. since I was younger. All right. So, I just wanted to do something that will help me use my passion. For math? Yes. Someone has a passion for math. Wow. Now, when did the competition start? It started March. And how, how do you prepare for something like that? During our lessons, we would try to like, like, tell our teachers to give us more work. Like, uh -huh. We try to finish before orders and ask to do an extra do more, work. Do more work. Okay, did you guys have any idea of what they were going to ask or you were just preparing generally? We were preparing generally. That's a lot of math. Though. Now, you guys find out that you're up against 85,000 students. What was on your mind? Like, how did you approach it? Just the way you approach any other question. Okay. How? Like, I want to, I want to know, what did you think to yourself? Did you think, okay, I have to win this? Or did you just say, let me just see how it goes? Let me just see how it goes. Really? So when you guys found out that you were going to South Africa, how did you feel? I felt good that we've gone that far. Were you nervous? Yes, I was a little nervous. A little nervous. I would be a lot nervous if I was in your shoes. Now, is it like a, one of those things we watch on TV where there's a podium and they ask you questions? How, how was the exam? It was like a test form. Okay. Written. Okay. So you have to sit down and answer the questions. All right. It's like silently, like there's no shouting. No noise, no noise. nothing. How no. many hours did you guys have? Four hours. How many questions? Fifteen. Okay, now I have a question. They gave them four hours for 15 questions. I don't want to know the kind of questions they gave you guys. But when they started announcing your names and you found out that you were, like you were the silver winner, the best performing learner, the best learner from outside South Africa, how did that feel? That felt very good because mm -hmm. I felt that I've achieved a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And Chidera, when you found out that you had come third out of 85,000 people around the continent, how did that feel for you? I felt good because, because I didn't used to like math when I was younger. I still don't like math now, but go on. But when I started, that's when, that was when I had the opportunity to go to, for a competition. Yeah. And getting bronze is like, it's good, it's still good. It's a major deal. Because for a person that doesn't like math, mm -hmm. and just started liking it, yeah, is a, is a great achievement. It is a great achievement. So now, what are you going to do, going on from this? Like, what, 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 what do you do after this kind of victory? You keep studying, mm -hmm. keep practicing, mm -hmm. to get good grades, yeah, and to get a better job in the future. Hmm. What did your teachers say? when you know all your awards and everything were announced how, how did your teachers react they were very happy mm -hmm. but with my achievement yeah i can imagine they would be so do you like have classmates coming up to you and saying so why is how do we sort this thing out or how do we solve this equation sometimes and how do you how do you do you, do you charge them do you collect money no i don't why because <laughs> everyone has a right to learn this guy is too good. He's a good guy. What about you? Do people come up to you and ask you to solve, solve things for them? Most times. Mm -hmm. Has that like increased your, your street cred in school? Like, do people look at you? Do you have that kind of school where people look at you and are like, ah, oh, he's third in the continent. Oh. Has, it imp has it raised your street cred level, so to speak? Not really. Have you? don't care? Nobody, I don't, <laughs> I don't care. You don't care? Ah, oh, that's, that's very modest. But apart from math, what else do you like to do? I play soccer, I read books, mm. and just have fun with my friends. That's fantastic. What about you? Well, I listen to music, mm -hmm. I play basketball sometimes. Wow. Yeah, and basic things. 
You know, one of the things I like is that they're very well-rounded. So they both like math, but they also do a lot of sports. They do a lot of reading. They have music uh, interests. It's very rounded. Okay, final words. Yes, let's assume that you're here to give advice to a whole bunch of students who hate math and don't understand what we have just said. What would be your advice for anybody who wants to do as well as you're doing? Maybe not in math, but in whatever it is they enjoy. Just to keep trying harder mm -hmm. and they should never give up when they feel the equation is too hard. So what about you? If you, if you, know, if you know you're doing poorly mm -hmm. in math, mm -hmm. just find someone that you can challenge or mm. challenge like a friend. Okay. And if you are able to pass the friend, you feel good about yourself mm -hmm. and you want to, to like be the overall best in class. Yeah, yeah. And if you do that, you don't find yourself comparing your scores with other people. Yeah. To find out whether you're the best, you're not the best. Mm -hmm. And if you know that you are doing poorly, you try to put in more effort mm. into your, your studies yeah. in order to achieve better. What do you want to do in future? What do you want to be? I want to be a software engineer. I, I'm not surprised. I'm not. What about you? What do you want to be? Um, I'd like to be a cardiac surgeon or a data analyst. Can you be both? Because the way it is now, I'm thinking you can be both. I'm probably president as well. I mean, president, you know, head of the UN. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're about ready to head out, but I'd like you to give a shout out to your parents and to your teachers. Yeah, so um, Wise will go first, then Chidera. So. so I'd like to give a shout out to my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Issa, Mr. Olanio, and also Mr. Omoto Imbo, and every teacher that has taught me. Fantastic. And what about you? I want to give a shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Anakwa, my parents. Mm -hmm. And I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Juba, Mr. Motembo, Mr. Lanyo, and all the teachers that have taught me. I have to say, though, you guys are truly, truly remarkable. You know, my show is about talking about the wonderful things that are happening in the country and on the continent. And seeing both of you representing us so well across the continent makes me personally very proud. So I'm looking forward to having you do amazing things, seeing you develop software that literally change things around the world, and seeing you, whether you become a cardiac surgeon or a data analyst, affect, affect this country for good. I'm personally very, very proud of you guys, and I'm very happy that you guys came on my show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming. Guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs>